I'm Kova. I am the program supervisor for Avivo Artworks. And Avivo Artworks is a really special portion of Avivo's community support program, which serves adults uh, in Hennepin County living with mental illness. Artworks Avivo makes it possible for me to make doing art a social thing too. Well, I'm in the fellowship of fellow artists, and we're all doing well creating. It gives me a chance to sit down and just be myself in front of other people. Yeah. Community, peace, and community. And the support. That's what a evil means to me. It's like being home. It's very home. Homey, I make friends there. I really like it. And, and I, like, I look forward to going every Monday. Um, it's great to be around other people making art especially other people who have the same challenges or similar challenges that I do. Um, and that really keeps me going, um, inspired. Because <laughs> uh, it's hard to, to make art and it's hard to be motivated. I had the opportunity to make some really good art here and uh, I just hope that by people experiencing my art that every artist knows the best is yet to come. One of the things that I'm in charge of is exhibitions. We at Hempton Theatre Trust, our mission is to create positive change through the arts and to amplify people's voices. I love working with Avivo. I love all the color that I always get with all the art that they send. And um, it's really cool also to see the growth of the artists from year to year. Uh, just getting to work with Avivo in general is really wonderful. Eleven years ago, I started doing art. I only tell my age, but I was 65 then. So, <laughs> and uh, see, so uh, I got ideas from my photos. I traveled a lot when I was younger, and and so uh, I take photographs. So I'm, over half of them are probably photos I do. A lot of the ones that ain't photos that aren't so are these 11 by 14s of birds and sea animals, and it's uh, when you're creating, it does something. I. I haven't really been doing art long, but the idea in my head is to create a type of sensory art, not just visual, but touchable or other things like that. Um, I don't want to feel like my artwork is limited to just seeing. I want it to be seen by all people. And I like to do mandalas and wood burning. I would burn fairies and mandalas and all kinds of different things. I teach wood burning at uh, at the at the Grain Belt Building, and um, I enjoy that. I also do abstract paintings. I love to do that. This piece uh, is like many others. Um, I I do use different words, um, but I frequently use the word breathe. Uh, because um, one of the things, one of the most basic things, and the most basic thing in life might be breathing. And uh, with me in particular in my mental health, um, I really do have to remind myself to breathe and to take a breath and to um, focus on that. And a lot of people say it's focusing in the moment, um, but I, Sometimes I think it's um, focusing in the moment, now, and then in the immediate future. So it's really representative to me of my mind actually working <laughs> and the concentration that I have to keep sometimes when things are really bad um, to just keep, keep breathing. And so I guess I, this kind of comes out of a whole number of years that I did uh, mandalas and I had a little course that I taught on uh, doing mandalas that was primarily a meditation thing. Uh, this is one piece, I call it my magnum opus. My contribution for to help people through this world of darkness. And I started this when I looked at my nephew 
I was in a high area and I saw him and that's how this came about. This piece is Kintsuki Heart Face. Um, it was started uh, pre-COVID. This is a piece on resilience and, um, you know, kind of repairing yourself and, and still being useful. For my sculptures, I'll make a sketch first and uh, then I'll do the sculpture. But for like drawings, I just start drawing. And whatever it turns into is what it turns into. It comes out of my head. So I, it, the challenge is to get something on the paper out of my head that looks okay. I hope they take a brave risk and be free to touch this one because this is the touchable one. Uh, the other two, not so much, but this one is a sensory one and I would love people to look experience the sensory of it, because I know I do. Oh, I hope people love it. I did a fairy itch down there, and I, I hope people enjoy it. And uh, my Mandela's mean a lot to me, and I hope they mean a lot to other people. Um, I'm pretty open about how people should or could uh, experience my pieces. Um, I just hope that they can relate to it. I think, you know, the word breathe is pretty, uh, it's pretty broad in its implications. Um, you know, I just hope that they take away um, maybe a remembrance to breathe every once in a while, because I don't think it's just me. So my innocent child creation is uh, to show people the realities of justice and love and to help people get through this dim darkness world that we're living in and questioning the historical footprint of mankind has led me to study the Bible, read it for myself. So it's my hope to inspire people to look into their visions for a promise of hope. I just want you to experience art and you know walk away with something that you either like or you dislike. I have been hospitalized on several occasions and um, they allow you to have paper and a pen if you behave. Um, so it has saved me on several occasions from just collapsing in on myself and not engaging at all in the world. I just hope that by people experiencing my art that every artist knows the best is yet to come. Thanks for being here. Thanks for looking at my art. I, I just want to be able to get my work seen. And more importantly, I need to be working around other people. It makes people smile, and I like that a lot. It makes me feel good to know that something I made makes people smile.